Hey guys, I have a couple of smartphone to HDTV adapters here that might interest you. Let's get into it. First up, meron tayong Type-C to HDTV adapter. So basically, if your phone, tablet, or laptop supports 3.1 Type-C or Thunderbolt 3, this will be compatible. Included in the box is just the adapter itself. And this adapter is just plug and play. The instructions is shown at the back. Up next, we have the Lightning or iPhone iPad to HDTV adapter. Of course, walang iwanan, di natin iiwan ang mga Apple users. Alam natin that iPhones and older iPads have Lightning port. So this unit is just plug and play. So lastly, we have the phone to HDTV adapter. Please disregard the Lightning word on the package, typo lang yan. Pero this product is very special because it's compatible to most Android phones. In the next part of the video, we'll be showing you the setup process for each of the product, so please stay tuned. For the Type-C to HDTV adapter, again, this is plug and play. As long as it's compatible, it should work just fine. Ayun, so the packaging only comes with the adapter itself. We have the Type-C port to be plugged in to your phone, the USB adapter to be plugged into the power brick or power bank for power. And of course, the HDMI port goes to HDTV. Take note that your TV must have HDMI port or else it defeats the purpose of having this product itself. The phone I will be using here is OnePlus 8 Pro so it supports 3.1 Type-C. Up next, we have the Lightning or iPhone iPad to HDTV adapter. This is a plug and play adapter. I will be using the iPhone 11 to test this product. So basically just the same process just as the last one. The adapter should be smooth. Latency or lag time should not be noticeable. For the phone to HDTV adapter, mas complicated lang ito because hindi siya plug and play. There will be two steps. First off, kailangan nyo man i-activate ang developer options and turn on USB debugging. So punta kayo sa settings and about phone. Makikita nyo si builder number. So you need to click that 7 times tuloy-tuloy. After, punta kayo sa systems, then developer options. Makikita nyo si USB debugging, on nyo siya. For the second part of the setup, you need to download the EasyCast app on your phone. Available naman ito sa Google Play Store. You will be using your original charging cable because the adapter has a female USB port. So the phone here will be a Huawei Mate 20. And the developer options has been activated here so we'll just proceed to the second step and proceed to the app. Okay, so after plugging it initially, may lalabas dyan na transfer photos, transfer files, or charge only. Make sure to click the first two, ah, huwag yung pangatlo. And just to make sure, check nyo na lang if naka-on na ang USB debugging.
open the EasyCast app and click the screen button. You will be directed to turn on USB tethering. So you just need to click start now and turn on the USB tethering. Then wait for a few seconds. Dapat meron na yan. So again, the latency on this device, it's much more evident, pero still manageable naman. So there you guys have it, 